we have to wait 200 plus days again just to see Caitlin play basketball again. Ryan Rucco just confirmed she's not playing ball in the offseason. I don't blame her. Listen, with all this pressure on her rookie shoulders and, and legends like Cheryl Swoops trying to diminish her accomplishments out of jealousy and hate. Listen, man, the coach wait until the elimination game to put the line of weaving begging for two months straight. Like, I, it's so much we could talk about. Listen, we're going to have time to talk about all of that. But listen, man, I'm just glad Caitlin doesn't get to have, like, she finally gets to have a real reset button. And I know that's the last thing y'all probably want to hear, but this girl's been going through so much from college to now with no real breaks besides the Olympic break, which isn't a real break because you still got to, like, have team practices. But there's so much to question about this league. Listen, I'm going to let y'all tell it. Like, like I said last video, I said if Nalissa started, I would be quiet. But listen, man, I'm going to still let y'all tell it. For those who've been here, though, y'all know these past games. Y'all know exactly what I mean. Listen, man, this was another poorly officiated game. And I don't want to sound like I'm making excuses, but this is a fact. We already know Kaylin's not going to come out and be like the officiator was bad. These girls was dirty. They play physical. We don't get to match that same physicality. Like me personally, I don't have a problem with the physicality. It's playoffs. Yes, you can up it up and not, 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 not nothing dirty, though. Not no poking people's eyes out. You know what I'm saying? Shoulder checking people. Listen, man, it's a lot that been happening with Kaylin and his team, even uh, from the regular season. But listen, I, that's just how I feel, okay? Listen, let's talk about Temi, because Temi definitely started today, all right? Now listen, Temi started to complete the Venom 5, and we started off to a 13-4 and run. Temi had an immediate stop on Mabry and the offensive rebound. Like, she came in impacting the game immediately. Temi hit a... A, a three in the fourth quarter like man listen we're gonna talk all about all of the y'all already know we, we break the film that right but listen man this is two straight games that we had to challenge a call in the first quarter two not one two I, like you can't make it up I'm gonna be honest like first it was Aaliyah in game one and Kelsey in game two all of our stars and key role players were in foul trouble this is as clear as day like look at this like look at it's so much to talk about like I'm not gonna lie I'm so emotional right now like not like I don't even know how to feel because it's like the season is really over like I genuinely am so used to like watching fever games and talking about like I literally don't know what I'm going to do right now. This is it's crazy right now, all right? But listen, because I'm not watching the rest of the WNBA. I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm literally like, unless y'all come as a whole group and be like, Venom, we want to see you still react to this team. Or the, that's the only way because y'all part of the community. But me, like, I'm moving forward. I'm not watching none of these games, all right? Listen, though. Kaylin is the first rookie to score 25 points. Five rebounds and five assists in a playoff game. She played every minute tonight. Man, listen, man. Play every minute and Kelsey did too. Her and Kelsey play every single minute tonight. And Alyssa Thomas, but Alyssa Thomas don't play for the fever, so we're not mentioning Alyssa Thomas. You know what I'm saying? Listen, bro. Okay. Aaliyah Boston has 16. Kelsey has 17. The big three combined for 58 points. So the other team's 81 points. Kaylin had 25 already, if I, if I didn't say that. How does Nalissa Smith come in for four minutes? I just want to know. Like, how does she come in for four minutes only and still come out the worst player on the plus minus? Like, please somebody explain that. She had a negative 12, and it was only in for four minutes. Listen, as I said before, plus minus don't tell the full story. But the fact that even coming off the bench, Nalissa negatively impacts the team on the floor. I wouldn't even have played her to begin with. And she sat for the rest of the game, which clearly tells me Christy Size is unsure with, like, herself about the rotation. Like, this is why we keep seeing so much inconsistencies in our lineup. Now that this season is over, we got to talk about how we can improve. And, of course, we're going to deep dive into that in the future about side. Like, I want side to. I'm going to be honest. Kayla Clark exceeded all the expectations. Expectations of her this year, okay? So let's give Kayla Clark her flowers. Miss C. <laughs> she exceeded all the expectations of her and surpassed them by miles with her top accolades being rookie of the year, uh, uh, league leader in regular season assists, and all time most assists in a single game. Kayla not only did that, but she's also in great company, as you're gonna see right here if y'all looking at the screen. Look at this right here, okay? Kayla Clark. Rookies that have averaged the following stats in a playoff series, 18 points per game, 5 rebounds per game, 8.5 assists per game, 2 steals per game, and 1 block per game, Kaelin Clark, and then none other than Michael Jordan. Is Kaelin Clark the Michael Jordan? <laughs> Are we witnessing a women's version of Michael Jordan? <laughs> Like, impact-wise, obviously, they don't, they, don't, they don't got no similarities in their play style. But just impact-wise, the way they come in and impact the game, like, and change the whole direction of the game, I think, man, listen, I wouldn't count Kaylin out. <laughs> and listen, oh, yeah. <laughs> Of course, I couldn't leave out the biggest change of all these reactions. I was downtown all day yesterday looking for a Kaylin Clark jersey, and I couldn't find one at all, sadly, right? But listen, 
They only had kid sizes and this hat. So I took this hat and customized it and I threw a little 22 on the side as you can see if you look at the screen. C22. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, can y'all see that little 22 right there? I hope y'all can see it. Man, listen, all right? I, I tried. I tried. Let's get straight into it, all right? Let's get straight into the film. So listen, right? Did we did we even um explain this right here? Listen, man, I don't like I don't, me personally. I want let's go over this right here, okay? Like the the officiating is bad. I want y'all to look at the screen for a second and look at this being a no call on Caitlyn. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Look at this right here. Um, can somebody please explain to me? How did Kalen Clark just get literally clobbered and there's no foul call on this? Like literally clobbered. Like I'm talking about like literally sandwiched. They, they're triple teaming her right now. Three jerseys around her right now. One of them bumped her. This is a blocking foul already. Number 22 is a blocking foul, right? Okay, let's keep going. Mabry is literally fouling her. Like literally fouling Kalen. You know what I'm saying? Like Kalen to the point is like using her offhand to even try to create separation because there's no whistle. Like I'm in the air, she's all over me, and there's no whistle, right? Like this is bad enough. Not only that, Marina sends her down. Kaylin's leg is bent up. Like, like I don't even know what. Like, where's the like? Where's the whistle? That's all I want to know. Like, this is crazy. I don't, man. Listen, we got so much to talk about. I want to hear all y'all comments, man. Like, Kaylin's just looking up. Like, and look at her face. Like, she's literally like, like you're not gonna call that. Like, no, no, no. I can understand the other calls. I might be tripping sometimes. This is a full-on foul. Like, if you don't call this, I'm doomed. Like, it's over. <laughs> like, man, listen, bro. Let's move on, all right? Kaitlyn came out the gate on fire, okay? Hitting a deep three because of the miscommunication between Bonner and Carrington, you know? But look at this right here. So, uh, uh, Jones told Carrington to go guard whoever, and Bonner was already on her way to go guard, all right? So, listen. By that point, Carrington told Bonner to go, and Bonner's like, no, I'm over here in the corner. I guess Lexi's in this corner because we can't see Lexi, right? Yep. So, Kaylin just shoots it anyways. Boom. To the point where Bonner and DJ Carrington is having, like, an argument. Like, yo, I thought you, you know what I'm saying? But this is the C-22 effect. Like, you got to just do it quick. One miscommunication, Kaylin's going to capitalize on it. You know what I'm saying? This, and imagine if Christy Sides ran plays for Kaylin. Just imagine if Kaylin was getting plays ran for her. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not going to lie. This hat is crispy. Hey, hey. I ain't going to lie. This hat is crispy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we, we lost tonight, but let's try to find a highlight or something. All right, so listen. The refs missed so many hard foul calls on Kaylin. They missed a Barner foul on, on, on Kaylin's three-point shot. Kaylin took a three, and they missed a foul call on it. Look, coming off the Temi screen, another screen. They get the switch. Kaylin takes a deep foul. Oh my god, look at her legs. It's literally on like she literally in oh, I can't. Like she's literally inside of Kaylin's leg. Like her leg is caught between Kaylin. How is this not a foul? I don't understand it. And and I remember when Lexi shot that three and Taisha like like I don't I don't know. Like this is literally this is how Taisha got injured on Lexi's shot last game. And the refs is still letting anything attached to Kaylin get done wrong. It's an unfair advantage over it. Like I I I, I I'm just drained. Like, I can't talk. I don't even know how I'm doing this reaction right now. Like, my mind is literally spinning. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Listen, though. Aaliyah holding the screen to extend the lead to a 7-0 run immediately out that half to tie the game. Listen, man. Held the screen. This is what we wanted. Bow, bow, bow. This is all we wanted. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is literally all we wanted. Holding the screens is the main reason why we even got this far. Like, the offense looks slow, so sloppy when there aren't any solid screens being set for Kelsey or Caitlin. Y'all noticed that, right? Like, I can't make this up. Look at this. Let's move on, right? So, look. Alyssa Thomas makes a layup catching it out of bounds. But y'all remember when Lexi made, uh, when Lexi did this, they caught out of bounds. Alyssa Thomas, look at all the players' reaction right now. Look at the bench. We could rewind this a couple times. Look, Kaylin got her hands up like, yo, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? The bench, Dantas is pointing. Like, everybody's like, yo, that's out of bounds. And what this Thomas does? Makes the layup. Another opportunity. <laughs> Another opportunity to change the momentum to our side and the ref just missed it. And it's a ref right here watching. Like, sadly, the clip got cut off to, to the point where it's the beginning of the clip. But you can see by everybody's reaction. Like, she just caught it inbounds, right? 
and look at Kaylin with her hands like like this. I'm just letting y'all know like this. Just when it's us, it's a out of it's, it's out of bounds. It's a foul. It's this. It's that. When it's the sun, it's like everything goes their way. And I don't want to sound like the YouTuber trying to make excuses, but this is just facts. You know what I'm saying? If you watch these games, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's unfair. If I felt like I was watching a fair game and we lost, I promise you can go back to my past reactions where we lost. I still gave credit to the teams. I'm not giving credit to the Connecticut Suns because I don't like the way the series went. It was not fair. They were not playing. Like, they got to play physical. We didn't get to play physical. They got to touch it. We didn't get to touch it. Like, it's so much unfair advantage. That's just me personally, that's how I feel. All right? So listen, no, although we lost, there's still so much to talk about, okay? I'm proud of our girls for putting in the, the, the like for putting the league on notice that this team, who is projected to be a tanking team, to be honest, found a way to clinch a six seed playoff berth to get a feel for the playoffs. I'm happy that we not only get to open a new chapter, but we get to see a better team next year, man. Listen, because changes will be made. <laughs> we gonna make sure changes be made as fans, okay? I hope the front office can find ways to sign a Satu Sabale, who's a free agent after this year. We need more wings. You can never have too many wings. Ironic, right? Because she plays with Dallas Wings. But you can never have too many wings. Uh, listen, we need a Satu Sabale. I'm gonna be honest. Let's save that for another video, though. But if you ever... This is for y'all right now. If you ever liked, commented, shared, or subscribed or donated, I genuinely appreciate all of you. You're a part of the Venom community forever. Listen, make some noise for y'all, okay? Make some noise for y'all. All each and every one of y'all. You feel me? And listen, bro. This is for seasons to come. It doesn't stop here. We grow together as one. Feel me? I love all y'all from my hat, obviously. You know what I'm saying? From the hat to the heart, man. I, like, it's official. We locked in. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I don't know when's the next time I'm going to see you guys. But listen, just know I love y'all for life, all right? And I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. One last time. C22. <laughs>